What's up guys? Today Everett and I are headed to go to Best Buy. We are getting a new drone and also a vlogging camera, the one I've been talking about that I really want, so I'm so excited. And I also need to go and get some hair supplies because later this week I'm doing my cousin's hair. And I think that's it. So we're headed out and then we're gonna go home and do some work a little bit later. I think Everett's gonna get this little guy. We've been thinking about it for a really long time, and I think today is the day. Tonight we are making pulled pork and coleslaw, so I'll show you guys how I do that keto. I'm using the Instapot. I'm just cutting up our pork loin. I'm gonna throw it in the Instapot. Throwing my pork in the Instapot. And we're gonna use this barbecue sauce. This is sugar-free barbecue sauce and I get it at Walmart. And I literally just put a little in there. I'm also gonna throw a tiny bit of monk fruit golden sweetener. This is basically similar to brown sugar. So for our coleslaw, obviously coleslaw dressing has a lot of sugar in it um, if you get it from the store. So we make our own. And how I make it is I put about a cup of mayonnaise, um, a few tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of celery seed, and then I just put a little bit of water and monk fruit together, just like a teaspoon or maybe like a tablespoon of water with um, a tablespoon of monk fruit in there and then um, make sure that the monk fruit is all melted in the water and then I mix it together and it makes a really yummy keto friendly coleslaw dressing. Over here Everett just took out the pork and shredded it up and then he just added a little bit more of that sugar free barbecue sauce and mixed it together. Also, if you guys want to follow like more of the food that Everett and I eat on keto, we have an Instagram account and it is Cali underscore keto underscore couple. I'll put the tag up here and you guys can kind of follow along and see a bunch more keto meals that we do on a daily. Pilots fly their own. I'll do it. I didn't do shit. I tried to push record earlier, it didn't work. Well, you suck compared to me. I am the king of technology, and you must bow down to my honor. <laughs> bow down, motherfucker. He's an idiot. This camera does have nice quality on this screen. He's a big baby boy. He's a baby boy. Thank you, Larry. Princess Pug. Want a fruit snack? Hey, dang it. Vlog day one of the zombie apocalypse. People are going rampant outside. We've locked down. Rochelle hasn't stopped researching online. We'll be back soon. What's up guys? It is Tuesday. Today I am just going and dropping off some stuff at the thrift store. Um, I am going to do a thrift haul video, so in the next few days definitely keep an eye out for that. I absolutely love thrifting and I have a lot of really good like tips and tricks for thrifting. People all the time compliment me on, me on my outfits and ask me where I got it and so many times it's from the thrift store. So definitely stay tuned for that video. 
Also, what do you guys think about the new vlogging camera? The quality is so much better than my iPhone. I'm so excited. I got the Sony A5100. Um, I got it from Best Buy and it was a really good deal. I love it because it has a little, um, the display flips up so I can actually see myself like right above the camera, which is super cool. And um, I'm just so excited. I've been actually, I've actually wanted this camera for two years now and I just kept putting it off because Everett and I have so much camera equipment, but this thing is so light, easy to bring with me, is gonna be great for vlogging and um, taking pictures of behind the scenes when I'm doing makeup. And uh, when, whenever we go on family vacations, this is obviously gonna be the camera that I bring because it's just a point and shoot, it's so easy. And so, so far I'm absolutely loving it and I'm so glad I got it. Everett didn't want me to get it and I have a feeling that he's gonna say sorry and understand why I wanted it once we start using it. What's up guys? I am just cutting up some Brussels sprouts for dinner right now and I was kind of thinking, I know that I've been doing these vlogs kind of like my whole week put into one, but I was wondering if you guys wanted my videos to be more, instead of all in one vlog, more categorized. So like a week in keto eating. And so all of my eating for the week on keto goes into one video that has more of like a category. And then maybe something that's more of like my makeup related videos, so behind the scenes doing makeup or like me applying my own makeup, products that I've gotten recently, reviews and things like that into its own separate beauty related video. And then maybe like vlogging on its own that doesn't have to really do with those kind of things. I was just wondering if you guys like more of these everything is jammed into one week type of video or if you like videos that are more of like one subject. So all keto, all beauty, all whatever it is that I am doing kind of for that week. I think that that might be a better idea just because my vlogs kind of are all over the place. I am making my vlogs kind of just personally for my own self to kind of like look back on and have memories and have kind of like family videos. So I don't necessarily vlog for YouTube to watch. I just kind of do it for my own self. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. I think I might do that and try it out and see how I like it. I think it might be more organized and that just like makes me happier. Anyways, getting more into the keto side of things, tonight we are having filet mignon steaks and then I am making some brussels. So I just cut the brussels in half and now I'm just gonna put a little bit of coconut oil in the brussels. This is really what makes it keto friendly because coconut oil is a great source of fat. So I washed them already and I put them back in the bag just so that I can like spread the coconut oil them over them evenly. I don't know about you guys, but when I was younger, I didn't think I liked Brussels sprouts and now I seriously love Brussels sprouts. I don't know if it was just that like I heard that Brussels sprouts weren't good when you were a kid or if my taste buds have changed, but I could live off of Brussels sprouts could seriously eat them for an entire meal. I don't like the big Brussels sprouts though. Is anyone else out there like that? I only like the small ones. I feel like the small ones get crunchier. They have more flavor. The big ones just get like mushy and I'm not really that into them. So if you're on team small Brussels sprout game, put it in the comments below so I know I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm just gonna shake a tiny bit of garlic salt on top of these little guys and throw them in the oven top rack so they get nice and crispy. My dinner smells so good. Filet mignon, squash from the garden. Where's my Brussels at, Terry? Oh, Terry. Crispy Brussels. Give me. Dinner time. Are you so tired now? Aw, happy pit bull. Well, 
our dogs got skunked tonight. Vardy tried to give them a bath. But they still stink. My rug stinks. Outside stinks. My pug stinks. Apparently they killed the skunk and Everett had to dispose of the poor skunk who got attacked and obviously put a fight back. Fun stuff. Hello everybody. Don't mind me, I look like a thumb right now. <laughs> um, I am so tired. We had a really late night. Obviously you saw the footage of Ziggy and, and Tegan getting skunked. Um, yeah, so our dogs got sprayed by a skunk last night and then we had to give them baths. The mixture we did was dish soap with um, baking soda and hard hydrogen peroxide, I believe, and mixed it up and put it all over them. It helped better than last time they got skunked, which was like a year ago, maybe a little bit longer, but um, they definitely still stink. And unfortunately, when they came in from getting when they came in from getting sprayed, they rolled all over my really big rug that I have in the living room. This rug here. So now my rug stinks. I'm gonna probably have to shampoo it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just tired. I'm dragging today. I'm doing my little cousin's uh, hair. Her hair is like a short bob and then her hair is like shoulder length and she's wanting to go really ashy blonde and right now she's just kind of like a medium neutral blonde so we're gonna do some highlights and maybe balayage and then i'm gonna tone her hair and try to make it much more ashy so that's what's going on today it's gonna be a chiller i don't want to do anything for the rest of the day so Play with his new toy. Gonna get some sunset shots at the lake. Whoa. So, what's the consensus? Keeping the drone. Keeping the drone. If I can't sell my old one, then I'm gonna start racing it against Rochelle's wishes, but I'm just gonna have to live with it. Drone racing. What's up you guys? Today is Thursday. I just did a little bit of shopping earlier and I'm gonna be doing a shop with me video that I'll be releasing in a few days. I went to Target and Ross and then I also stopped by Kmart on my way home and got some stuff. So make sure to look for that video in a few days. And then later tonight, we are just going out to dinner for our friend's birthday. We are going to Thai food, which will be interesting ordering something on keto at Thai food. We haven't tried to attempt that yet and I know that a lot of things have sugar and carbs in them. So I'll let you guys know what I end up getting but I just thought I would update you and just kind of like go over what we're going, what I'm doing. And then tomorrow I also am kind of chilling, hung out with my friend. I'm gonna edit some of the vlog right now. So I'll see you soon. We are going to dinner. Everett's looking all dapper. Look at his outfit. He's got his sweater on. Hashtag fall. Butter swag with some good vibes. Good vibe sunglasses, hiddengrovecollective.com. And the old man watch. Michael Kors. Back up, Derry! Oh my, Derry, back up! Bag up, bag up! Bag up, Terry! Put it reverse, Terry! Put it reverse! Oh Lord! Lord Jesus! What the what, what you doing, Terry?
It is Friday. Everett is super excited because his big order of sunglasses came in this morning to our local FedEx. How long have you been waiting for these guys? Oof. Three or four months. The order was supposed to take 40 days and it, it expanded into a 65 day order and eight days to ship it. So it's now at our local Grass Valley. I'm super pumped as you can tell. Um, His hair isn't even done. He's just leaving the house like that. I literally can't wait. We've, we've been needing these glasses. They're kind of our flagship model. They're similar to this frame here. Lifetime warranty too, guys. We're literally, if you break the frame on there, you're not gonna be able to break them. But if you do, for some odd reason, we'll replace them. 55 bucks, you really can't beat it. You're helping out local neighbor hams, trying to do their way, trying to make business, trying to work for themselves. So you know what? Get your card, get your wallet out, go to www.hiddengrovecollective.com and make a purchase today. <laughs> Sales pitch, boom. Bye, What's up you guys? I just got done filming the rest of my Target and Ross haul and uh, I'm just kind of like rearranging my room. Everything's a mess. I have way too much stuff. I was thinking about doing my videos kind of like right in front of this area. Put some like cute things out but I realized it's just not big enough. This whole area needs to be for the video. So then this clothing rack was over there and I removed it and put my plants over there along with my little couch area. So I think I'm gonna be filming in this area from now on. But now I don't know what to do with my clothing rack. I could try to fit it somewhere in my bedroom but I just don't know if it's gonna fit. I just really need to clean this room out and um, declutter. Sounds like a huge project. Hello everybody, it is Saturday today. Oh, Ziggy wants to say hi. Hey baby. Today I have a wedding. I am doing makeup for a mother of the bride. Um, so it's just one person, so it'll be done really fast. But um, yeah, I'll try to show you guys behind the scenes. I've never been to this venue, so it looks really beautiful online and I'm excited to kind of check it out. And I'll try to show you as much as possible um, while I'm working, but I always try to be professional and like on time So I don't like to spend a lot of time doing photos and videos usually if I have an assistant That's what I have them do but today I don't have an assistant I do have a wedding next weekend and it's a lot of girls I will be having my assistant um, record and take pictures so let me know if you guys want to see that and uh, That's about it. I'm just kind of wrapping up around the house. I'm eating some food. I got all my stuff by the front door Here's all my stuff here. I got my ring light, my bag. I got my hair bag right there. And then obviously my Zuka. Would you guys want to see a what's in my kit? Let me know if you guys are uh, interested in knowing what's in my makeup artist kit. Cause I'll totally do one of those for you guys if you want. I'm just eating a few more Brussels. I know you guys, this week I've been going hard on the Brussels. I don't know what about it. They're just like crunchy, but soft and salty. I've been really into the Brussels sprouts. Boom. So I got that with some MCT oil over them just to give me some more fat. Tonight, I think that we're just staying in. It is the weekend and our friends are probably gonna wanna hang out, but we just got all those sunglasses in. We have a bunch of stuff we can do for business. And so I just feel like it's better to stay in. Plus I have another photo shoot that I will be doing on Sunday, which is more of like a boudoir lifestyle type video. I can definitely do some video behind the scenes of that. All right, bye. Whew, I just got into the car. I just got done with this wedding. I didn't take any video because they were kind of like behind on time. They didn't really do a very good timeline and um, the mom had a bunch of stuff that she saw to get done and I don't think she was comfortable with me photographing or filming her. Some people are just um, not as comfortable with that. So I didn't want to like get any behind the scenes today, but I'm just headed home for the rest of the day. I think we're going to do some work. I have a bunch of work to get done and um, yeah, that's about it. 
trying to just blast my AC in here because it is hot for being September, man, it is hot. It is all dry and crispy out there though, so definitely looks hot. So I am just headed back home now. What's up guys, it is Sunday. I'm just kind of checking in. Earlier today I just did a bunch of boring stuff, computer, contracts, emails, stuff like that. And then tonight I am going to a photo shoot with my friend Ari who is a photographer. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do a behind the scenes while I'm here on this vlog or if I'm gonna create a whole new video of behind the scenes on there, but I did wanna kinda of try to video. So if I end this vlog now, then it'll probably be its own dedicated video. Um, yeah, I'm just headed out and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for joining me this week and I love you guys. Bye! <laughs>